Hello everyone, my name is Tom Williamson from the Wi-Fi Sheep YouTube Tech channel and I'd like to introduce you to my exhibit for the Retrofur 2020. This is a Acorn BBC Micro. They were manufactured between 1981 and 1986. This particular model is an issue free Model B and was manufactured in 1982. The BBC Micro is based around a Cinetech 6502 clone processor. It has twin banks of 16K of RAM, making a total of 32K. It has an Intel internal floppy controller. Now I have been using this converter box to convert the RGB SCART signal to a HDMI, and it does work really, really well. Unfortunately, my capture cards weren't having any of it, so I've had to improvise an alternative solution in using the BBC Micro's BNC to composite. It's only a black and white L. Bear with me on that, but hopefully it'll give you an idea of what the machine can actually do. Now, the tape and disc interface has been replaced with a what we call a Turbo MMC, and this is a small SD MMC flashcard device that plugs underneath the computer into the user port. One cool feature with the BBC Micro is its compatibility with the Raspberry Pi. So, for this machine, I can add a Raspberry Pi coprocessor, which connects the 40 pins of a Raspberry Pi Zero straight into the 40 pins of the tube interface, again found underneath the machine. So, as mentioned, we've only got a black and white output to show you what's actually on screen, but hopefully it'll be good enough to give you an idea. So, you'll notice I've got the Turbo MMC drivers have loaded up on the command prompt. So, if we want to call up, um, let's say, the menuing system for all the games, which come with most of the MMC cards. We can go star and deboot, zero, return or enter. And then we actually have a list of virtually every retro game I think has been released from the original era of the BBC Micro. For example, we can go through to delete that pretty much made the BBC Micro what it is. There we go, we can load up. And this was the open world 3D space sandbox adventure and trading game, unique for the time. Try and dock back with it, which probably won't happen. So it's, yeah, <laughs> very difficult, but there you are. And we'll end by showing you a project I've been working on. It's a game called Nana Gangs. Now, a lot of people have told me that you can't write things like this in BBC Basic. The BBC Micro does not have a hardware or software sprite engine, so everything has to kind of be created from scratch effectively. So it's actually much nicer in colour, but you get the idea. So it is a platformer, which actually doesn't run too bad at two megahertz. Now, if I break the program there, we can now implement the Raspberry Pi coprocessor, which I mentioned a little bit earlier. To do that, we need to we can call the Pi directly with a star fx151230, and then I'm going to ask one. If I now break, you'll notice that the prompt has changed. It now says Acon Tube 6502, and it's brought over 64k of RAM. If we start a new game again. You'll now notice that we're now running a little bit faster. That's because instead of now running at 2 megahertz, 6502, we're now running at 3 megahertz, 6502. And of course, we've got a little bit more RAM, which means technically it could design the program to load in a bit more, or we could do more advanced functions. Maybe you see the sprites, enemy sprites are now running a lot faster than they were. And that's just a 1 megahertz increase in speed. If you add a Raspberry Pi coprocessor, it opens up all sorts of opportunities and possibilities, and you don't need to know the 6502 assembler or machine code. You can just write it in BASIC. As I said, a lot of people don't believe that this is actually just BBC BASIC. Well, that's just about it for this brief look at the Acorn BBC Micro from here in the UK. I just want to say a huge thank you to John Kennedy on Twitter for organising the online computer fair 2020. If you want to see more about this computer, please do join me on my channel. It's youtube.com forward slash Wi-Fi sheep. Thanks so much for your time. Bye for now.